Good evening, people. Watch them at 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and arose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, at least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I or whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus rapture ready which is going to happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation the holy spirit will indwell in you the holy spirit will lead you guide you minister to you encourage you speak to you teach you all of that change you so i got two articles today this is off of uh hal turner and ukraine attacks a civilian merchant ship near Kerch Strait. Now, <laughs> this happened in the wee hours of last night. So what happened was Ukraine launched an unmanned marine drones to attack vessels near the Kerch Strait bridge and hit a merchant oil tanker ship named the SIG, S-I-G, about 30 miles from the bridge. It began when residents of a nearby town reported a large explosion near the bridge. As reported during a live, uh, his live show last night, both aerial and maritime drones were being used and the belief was that the Cursed Strait Bridge was the target. Russian uh, electronic warfare Dealt with the most of the aerial drones, but anti-aircraft artillery was used to down others. So just after his show last night, his show went off the air. An insider close to Russian maritime fleet reported that a maritime drone collided with a tanker 30 miles from the Cursed Strait. That is now confirmed and visually verified. So he's got photos about this right here. According to, it says according to uh, radio traffic, the captain of the ship says it was hit in the engine room area where, which is now flooded. The vessel cannot move independently, but fortunately the crew is alive and almost unharmed. So the Russian rescue ship Mercury, they call their rescue ship Mercury, is already operating next to it and a number of um, ships are heading to help. So according to some reports, the SIG tanker was returning Guess where this tanker was returning from? Syria. Where it delivered oil products. The tanker itself has been under U.S. sanctions since 2019 for helping uh, to circumvent sanctions imposed on Syria regarding the sale of their oil and gas minerals. So on July 19th, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that all ships calling, calling at Ukrainian ports will be considered as carrying military equipment and will be considered targets. On July 20th, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry made the same statement that would have the same approach to Russian ships. So, as of 9 o'clock this morning... Video of the drone impacting the ship has been released by the Ukrainian government. They saw in, in advance they were attacking 
an unarmed civilian vessel and they attacked it anyway. A blatant act of sponsored terrorism intentionally. So, you know, it's a video here to show it. And so forth. So I'm going to link that. And then this came in about... I just did a video this morning on Saudi Arabia. And then this came in. I think this came in after the fact. But this says... Like right now. Saudi Arabia's embassy in Lebanon is urging its citizens to leave the country ASAP. Now, and to avoid approaching areas where there have been armed clashes. Now, um, I had said in that video, something is coming about this peace thing that's happening. So it says in a statement, and this was posted late yesterday, uh, formerly um, known as, I guess Twitter changed his name to X, formerly known as Twitter, the embassy warned Saudi citizens not to visit areas where armed clashes were taking place. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, hold on a minute because something else just came in. So let me finish this. It says the um, the Saudi diplomatic uh, diplomatic mission also stressed the importance of respecting the travel ban on Lebanon. It was followed Saturday by Kuwait, which issued an advisory calling on Kuwait's Kuwaitis in Lebanon to remain vigilant and avoid the areas of security unrest, though without asking them to leave the country. Deadly armed clashes have occurred in recent days in the Palestinian refugee camp located on the outskirts of Saudi South Lebanon. Since July 29th, at least 13 people have been killed and more than 60 injured in clashes. Um... Now this goes on to say, if an Israel-Saudi agreement is signed, it's not, this is not going to be good. Saudi Arabia's request is not just related to the fighting. Many believe it could be linked to a possible Israel-Saudi agreement. Now I just did, this wasn't out when I did the video this morning. This just came out after I did that video this morning about Saudi Arabia and Israel. Now, this is coming up, and this is what I just got off of Newsweek. It says, Poland issues warning on a very real threat of Wagner attacks on NATO turf. So, Poland, and I just got something from War News about this too. Poland issued a new warning about the potential threat of Wagner Group attacks amid heightened tensions on the Belarusian border. Polish Deputy Foreign Minister uh, Powell Jablinski said in an interview with CNN on Friday that the Wagner threat is very real and alleged that Wagner forces have already attempted to attack Polish territories. Why all of a sudden is everything seems like it's about to blow up? Could it be the rapture is about to happen? I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> His remarks follow weeks of inflamed tensions between Poland and the Wagner Group, which previously fought alongside Russian troops in the Ukraine war, but was exiled exiled in late June to Belarus following an attempted mutiny against such and we know all about that but specifically Polish authorities have warned that the Wagner group could invade Poland to seize control of the Sawalki uh, Gap a small but critical corridor located along Poland's northeastern border that separates Russia 
from the enclave Kaliningrad. So, <laughs> seems like everything is happening all at one time now. Then you got, um, Lebanon, or Saudi Arabia. So, this goes on to say, such an invasion would have significant consequences isolating the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania from the rest of Europe, potentially allowing Moscow to exert greater influence over these nations. It would also draw a response from NATO. As his founding treaty states that any attack against it would be treated as an attack against the entire military alliance. We are stating very clearly that we will not back down, he said. Obviously, there will be attempts. We are expecting more attempts on attacks on our border. Perhaps more attempts are also violating our airspace. Uh, Jablonski added that Poland will be sending more troops to the Belarusian border to ensure they can be resilient amid the threat of an attack. Still, the Polish military leaders would like to avoid conflict, describing it as a step of the last resort to some extent, but potentially necessary if there will be continued attacks, continued attempts of destabilizing our country. Now, you know what? Let me stop there, and I'm going to say something. We've heard rumors and rumors and rumors of wars for the longest time. Something is about to give. Something <laughs> is definitely about to give here, because not only do you have a ship, an oil tanker coming from Syria that's being that's been destroyed you got Saudi Arabia in the mix too all of a sudden the Wagner group is coming back up on NATO territory um, one of these days <laughs> one of these days something big will happen and that big thing I'm hoping is the rapture soon because this is becoming a little bit dangerous right now. Just a little bit. But remember something. God always has our back regardless of what happens. And he will remove his children out of harm's way. It says so in his word. But I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Like I said, this article from uh, about uh, Poland just came out like not even two seconds ago so i'll link it in the description box along with hal turner's other articles and if anything else comes up i'll be back on thank you